Hey Cole, here's your second video for your practice, or your second practice video for your concerto, rather. Uh, in this video, we're going to pick up right where we left off. It's about four measures into the fourth line, and then we're going to play all the way down to maybe halfway through this seventh line. That's before your four measure rests, um, where it says menomoso. So just a friendly reminder to use the fingers that are printed there. They're really good suggestions, and they make your life a whole lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and pick up here, um, right at the open A. Alright, here we go. Ready? And rest. <laughs> sixth line, maybe two measures in. Let me look at that. Sorry. If you want to put a one before that three on B, that'll make it easier. I think that's why I missed it. Have four open and then put one where four was and stretch to three. trouble knowing if you're in the right spot, if you compare it with a um, note that you already know, like that E that I just ended on if you're lost, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's the sixth line down, and the last measure, um, you've got one finger on E, compare it with one finger on your D string, it's an octave higher, should sound the, about an, the same there. Um, just an octave difference. So you can think of that also, um, let's see, three on B, that's on your D string. Should sound like one on your on your A string. All right, so if you're in a weird finger pattern that you're not used to because we're not on the stickers anymore, um, you can always compare what you're doing to the stickers that you already know. And that's a good way to know if you're right or not. Or you can also compare it to an open string. Um, let me give you an example. Hmm. Oh, come on, Tilly. Well, I know that there is a, a really good one. Uh, it was back in the first video. Oh, well. I'm going to have to find it and maybe show you another time. But anyway, if you have a... Um, what normally is an open string and you're playing it right here where your thumb is in the crook of your cello and your your first finger just kind of rests. It's not reaching and it's not definitely not 
uh, right on top of where your thumb is, but it's just natural. <laughs> Always compare that with your open string. And especially if your cello is in tune, that would help too. Um, let me know if you need any help or if you have any questions, and I'll see you soon at school. Bye bye.